Yeah. Sign and object. Yeah, S and O. Right. That was what he had on the on the diagram. Yes. Other questions up to this point? No. Um, so, how are vervet monkey calls different from human language? There are a couple couple answers to this. Anyone? Yeah. Are you you're Scott? Okay. Okay, so with vervet monkey calls, there's a direct correlation between the, the sign and the object. Okay. Other things? Other differences? So it's not as if there's not a correlation between signs and object for human language, but that those, those correlations between sign and object in human language are subordinate to the sign-sign relationships relationships between signs, right? So another difference is that because of that correlation, the vervet monkey calls will lose their meaning if that physical presence of the referent disappears, right? Whereas with human signs, that's not the case, right? So if, I don't know how many you know, vervet monkey still means vervet monkey, even if we've never seen a vervet monkey, which I don't, I've never have, so I don't know. Yeah, so, or, and, you know, all sorts of different things that we've never seen, but it's still, it's, the signs still retain their meaning, right? Whereas with these vervet monkey calls, they stop seeing the eagle, that call will go away. Okay? So how are index, indexical relationships maintained in animal calls? So I just answered that. They, they're maintained by that continual repetition of the object to which it refers, right? So that continual repetition of that relationship between sign and object is necessary to maintain the indexical relationship. And what, is, what are the primary differences between indexical relationship and symbolic relationships then according to Deacon? There's a summary here. Somebody? <coughs> One difference between indexical and symbolic relationships. Huh? Yes. Okay, uh, s yes, so um, indexical relations are based upon this correspondence in fact, some factual correspondence, and symbolic relationships are not primarily based on that, they're based on this, what Peirce called the interpretant, and what Deacon is calling relationships to other signs. Right? Okay. Okay, good. 